taken over at some sun that actually could light up our night sky, yeah. then the night would no longer be. We would be in daylight. It would be the daylight of another light, of another sun. Your, your argument. One second. Yeah. What was my argument? Your argument Repeat was. My argument, and then we'll see. If your you argument was day and night are ex only linked to our sun. Right, so I'm giving you another solar object that is providing enough light to be considered a day, and according to your own argument, that doesn't count because day and night can only be linked to our sun. No, I didn't say that. You did say that. No, I didn't. Because when we were talking about the there other passage, no when we were talking about the other passage, yeah, you were saying you were linking day and night in that passage, not overlapping, to the sun and the moon, right? Right. So you, by definition, are linking day and night to our sun only. Right. So let, let's let's yeah. address that point. Sure. The Quran has made a statement that is factually false. It has stated that night cannot overtake day. Right. So let's clarify our terms. Sure. What is the definition of night? Yeah. I mean, I'm saying my definition of night, my definition of night, and my definition of day are linked to our sun only. I am with that. In this so you, if you're going to say yes, if you're going to say yes, one second. then yeah. I, I, I've never denied that. One, one second. You never one denied. You never deny that. No, okay. I don't deny that. Okay, sure. Of course, I don't deny that day and night is connected to our sun. But in a solar eclipse. So why are you making the you argument? Have, you why are you making the you argument? You haven't answered the question. No, no. Why you, you haven't you... answered the question? Okay. What is the definition of night? Wherever my definition of night is, is linked to our sun only, just as you stated. What is the definition so, of night? The definition of night is, the is when our sunlight. is the absence of our sunlight. Thank you. Yeah. And what happens in a solar eclipse? In a solar eclipse, okay, maybe my, I'm happy to correct my definition, okay? I'm happy to correct my definition. So my definition of night is the regular patterns that our planet experiences where there's absence of sunlight. Solar eclipses are regular patterns that have been going on for millennia. So no, now, no, they're irregular. No, oh, they're regular. Regular, regular, regular. You can yeah, literally yeah, yeah. predict yeah, yeah. them. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So they're right. totally regular, yeah, sure, sure, sure. right? As a physicist, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Physics, I actually, no, I'm I know, telling I, you they're I, regular. Probably, yeah, sure. Until that sun drifts away from Earth, they're regular. I agree, I agree. I agree. Right. I agree. So my point to you is, the Quran has stated, as a matter of fact, that night can't overtake day. Yeah. And we all see night overtake day every solar eclipse. But I'm just saying... So the Quran is own... wrong to make that no, statement, no, is it not? You just said, five minutes ago, that your definition of night and day are only linked to our sun, yeah. right? I'm giving you an example. If a supernova happens in the nighttime and it's enough to brighten up the entire night sky, that doesn't count as day according to your interpretation, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, say again. If a supernova goes off yes. and it's bright enough to light up, to light up the whole night sky, yes. is that daytime? I've said yes. But you just said daytime. you just said five minutes ago that day and night are only linked to our sun. No, I haven't not said that. You did say that you, you have come up with a hypothetical thing, yeah. right? A hypothetical idea mm -hmm. that will that that trust me, if it occurred, we'd all be in huge trouble. Yeah. Right? Like forget about no, this debate, we'd all be cooking. No, I right? Yeah, yeah, our, our ozone would literally be washed away if a supernova went off that close. It, the, the huge amount. Sure, sure, but there's comets. The comets, but comets can make the same amount of brightness, my, my, right? My, no, no, they cannot. No, I mean, they can be bright enough for the sky to be lit No, up. they cannot they can, light they up. No, hold not on. To the, not to the they level. They cannot create sure. daylight. Sure. Those things that reflect the sun's light can never produce the same amount of energy that the sun does, and so we can never have daylight from re reflected light. Never. It's just physically impossible. So you're saying comets... It goes against... Yeah, yeah, no, I agree, yes, I agree, comets yeah, yeah. cannot create daylight. No, but I'm saying they can, they can be bright enough to be noticed in the sky, and they can cause a bit of brightness in the sky, right? It can cause brightness. Sure, sure. I'm not denying brightness, sure, sure. but we're not talking about brightness. The night sky is full of brightness, the moon yeah. is bright, the stars are bright, yeah. comets are bright, or the tails are. What we're talking about yeah. is the Quran. The, the, is I've, given, the, I've given you my, I've given, you came for my explanation. My explanation, right? My understanding is okay, that my day and my night yes. are linked to the sun. Okay, okay? so let, let's look at what Muhammad says. Yes, sure. Okay, because Muhammad. But wait, wait you, we've talked about this for like a good 20 minutes, right? Can I ask you one question back? Um, uh, look, can we finish on Muhammad? Because I need to go in a bit. So I honestly, I need to go in a bit. So I want you to address okay, my go point. On. Go okay, on. according to Genesis chapter one, yep. right? Um, trees come before fish. Doesn't, uh, can we, shall, shall we pull sure, it up? Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. Let's pull it up and see if it actually says that. If you care so much about science, let's uh, address this. Yeah, let's address this, sure. right? But here's my challenge to you. While I'm pulling up Genesis chapter one, sure. find me the verse in the Bible that says that it has no errors in it. 
Because you're all scripture, all, 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 says, one second, all says, all, all scripture is God breathed. Right, all scripture is God breathed. I affirm that. Does that say so God's that the Bible? Mistakes, sorry, does that say that the Bible is free from all errors? No, it does. So it try does. again. Uh, okay, try again. Well, well, Find another All verse. scripture is God breathed. So if God has. If God is um, making an impact in yes. every single bit of scripture, yes. then how can he make a mistake? Right, so. God is guiding people so, to make so mistakes. So let's address that point. Sure. Let's address that point. So firstly, my friend here has not found a verse that says that the Bible is free from all errors. But does the Quran? I just, just, I just gave you a verse. She really didn't. I did. It really all didn't. scripture. Does the Quran say that it's free from all errors? Yes. Right, so we're not we're comparing apples and oranges then. Until you can find me a verse I, I just, that I says just gave the you, same I just gave statement you the as the Quran, I, I can just keep repeating it if you want. All scripture is God breathed. That clearly means what that, that all mean? scripture is inspired by God, right? Where, where does it say that in the verse? Where, the all scripture is inspired by God. Sorry, I do believe that. Yeah. But where does that say that all scripture so, is me, perfect? Tell me, tell me why. So let, tell go, me why let's God. Go find it. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Where are we? Where are we? Right, it says, let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit, trees on, earth, on the earth bearing fruit after their kind, with seed in them, and it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed after their kind, and trees bearing fruit with seed in them after their kind, and God saw that it was good. There was evening and there was morning the third day. Now you're saying that that comes before what? Um, fish. Fish? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, I don't think he's wrong. Right. And, and, this prob and the problem with that is what? The problem is, according to the geological record, yeah. fish came before trees. Not so sure that it's true. It's true. It's true. Depend, it, it depends on what. Firstly, what, let, let, let me reply. For sure. Yeah. Firstly, it depends on how we understand the word tree and what that means. Yeah. Secondly, as a Christian, I'm not committed to the idea that every verse in the Bible has to be free from any kind of error. So, That's an Islamic position, not a Christian position. So I and open up thirdly, the Bible. Final point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Final point. No. No, I'm talking with him. I need to ask you a question. No, no, it's fine. Wait, 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 hang on. Otherwise, let's not get sidetracked. Let's not get sidetracked. Let's not get sidetracked. Let's not get sidetracked. Okay, so here's the point, yeah. right? As a Christian, yeah. right, I am not committed to the... So, so my, sorry, my third point is that the point of Genesis was to teach the Israelites that Yahweh was the God of all the things that they believed in Egypt had gods, including plants and animals. So Genesis chapter 1 needs to be read as a polemic against polytheism. It's not meant to be read as a scientific textbook. But when you use the Quran, and, and this is, I'm landing, when the Quran says that it's free from all error, yeah. and I find a geocentric universe, solar system in the Quran, as I've evidenced, that's an error. Flat out error. Okay. Wait, wait, hang on. You're telling me I get a Bible, the first page I open has scientific errors right there. It's not a scientific textbook. It is a scientific error. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. Is no, a scientific I'm saying, textbook? I'm saying it's such a major blunder. Is it a scientific fact. textbook? No, I'm not saying is that. Is it pretending I'm to be a scientific textbook? I'm not saying that, but your argument. Are Christians to me, going to people? Yes, yes. Okay, second. wait, look, can, I, can I make my point? Can wait, I make wait, my wait, point? Wait, I've, wait, let wait. I've let you talk. I've historically let you talk. Have historically Christians okay. have historically Christians yeah. used Genesis as a science book or yes. a theology book? Yes. No, they have, we have people now, Ken Ham in America, no. he's using Genesis as a historical book. St. Augustine doesn't read it like a historical but fact. You just made a claim that no origin, Christian has Origin, ever... origin, origin. St. Augustine, neither of them use it like a scientific text. Yeah, but you just made a claim no Christian ever has done that. No, I said historically, yeah. is what I said. But historically, people have yes, believed that. Yes, there are biblical Why was Charles Darwin's theory on the origin of species, why was that so contested by Christians if they well, don't believe that? Th this, is, this is a sign that you don't know the history. No. Because, hold on one second. I know, because, I know Charles because Darwin. Because the fact was, is, yeah. one second, yeah. the fact is there were lots of Christians who accepted the theory of evolution at the time of Charles Darwin. So Christians let me, let, me, let me just get an uh, the can argument, I, can I just pick the, argument, point? the reason why in history we only yeah. remember the dispute mm -hmm. is because that serves the liberal secularists to tell that history. That's that it's politics in history. No no there was a major element of the church that was yeah. against like um, um, Darwinism. And it just was, so you know, yeah. I would I would argue actually that the geological record supports the idea 
that vegetable life yeah. came comes before biological life. I mean, well, let me rephrase no, 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 that into no, no, a no, sentence that not, makes sense. No, no, that's not Vegetable. true. That's not true because I mean, algae. Algae you could argue came that. first. Yeah, sure, but like it's talking about vegetation. It's referring to trees there. Yes, the yeah. first. So trees did not come before fish because if you look at the geological record, fish were there 400 million years ago. Trees were. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just accept that sure. as a statement of fact. Sure. I, I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to accept it for the sake of argument. Sure. But I'm not committed in the same way you that are you're committed. No, I'm not. How, I am. How can you tell me my religion? All scripture is God breathed. How can you tell me my religion? All scripture is God breathed. So, yeah, exactly, exactly. Don't interrupt, Sam. Don't okay. interrupt, or I'll just interrupt. Okay, my, can, can I just I'll summarize? Just interrupt so, you so, 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 sorry, brother. Sorry, brother. Okay, so your argument is the Quran says it's free from errors, but it has an error. Okay, yes. my argument is the Bible says the, it's free from error, and it has an error. But you have an evidence that it's free from error. Because I have evidence from error. that it's free from error. You have an evidence that statement. says all scripture is Right, let's go to that. Let's actually. Go yeah, to that, that. Because good. you've just misquoted the passage. I I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. It's in 2 Timothy 15. Right? 2 Timothy, is it 2 or 3? I think it's 3. Right. Listen to what it actually says. Sure. You're listening. All right. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. So that, so it's now giving the reason, so that the man of God may be adequately equipped for every good work. So that's the infallibility of scripture. That it, by following its teachings, we can be equipped to perform every good work. Now, that is not saying that the purpose of scriptural inspiration is to teach a science. Or to teach a geology. Or to teach a history. Right? So don't don't okay, quote so verses you yeah. haven't All actually read. Is inspired by God and yes. God for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training. Sure, but where does it so say there's that, mistakes? Look, where does it so say scripture? That, I mean, yeah, sure. So that yeah. the man of God may be adequately equipped for every good work. What's the purpose of the inspiration? Yes, yeah, so, okay, let me let me let me use What's your, the purpose of the inspiration. Okay, for good work, whatever. Okay, Thank you. Hold on one second. So when the Quran makes a claim. Can I can I talk? Yeah, we're gonna have a right. I need to go like, a bit, so I like need to really would yeah, you my like to do this? I don't have time for 20 minutes, okay? Right, so, go on. Okay, okay. So, according to you, if Christian scientists find evidence, find like proof that there's a period called the Devonian period, right? Where there's fish, there's a lack of trees, are they meant to fight? truth that's there in front of their eyes because scripture is good work and this is teaching them something contrary to scripture somebody's so dropped I'm, a microphone um so christian scientists christian scientists all right so find, let me answer that question find um let find answer that question. plenty of evidence of let this. me answer yeah. that question right if science yeah. demonstrably yeah. shows that fish come before trees yeah. then christians go with the evidence but that you're means, saying let me finish Sure. That means that Christians can affirm that fish come before trees. Because the point of Genesis 1 is not what you think it is. It is to teach the Israelites mm -hmm. that there is no God except Yahweh. That's the point of Genesis 1. All the six acts of creation... They're all referencing Egyptian gods. They're all referencing the idea that the, the Egyptians and their Israelites. That's your interpretation. Well, I mean, I got a agree. solid one. And yeah. like your interpretation of the Quran. No, no, but like your no, interpretation, but my interpretation of the Quran. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Like your interpretation yeah, of the Quran. Yeah, but we've talked about that. We talked right? about that already. We're talking, right? and it's not just my interpretation, by the way. So this passage, right? This passage. Yes. So you're saying that all scripture is God breathed and that is for um, good works, right? Correct. Yeah. That's what so it says. Christian That's scientist, literally what it says. A Christian scientist who finds undisputable proof should have hold the truth that fish came before trees and should hold, and hold, that hold contradicts the, the Bible, right? No, it don't hold. It, well, hold on one second. It contradicts your misapplication of the Bible. My that's miss, what it, I, that's I'm reading what it, the page one of the Bible. Yes, and, and I'm reading the Quran. Yeah. And when I read the Quran, you were saying, oh, no, 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 that's not what it means. Yeah, yeah. Even though it blatantly said that is what it means. It blatantly said sun rises from the east and sets in the west. It says that I agree with that. Now, wait, wait, let's come, back to, let's come back to Muhammad's interpretation of those verses. 
because the thing is... No, no, you're jumping from this. You're jumping from this because no, you're in a problem no, there. Because no, if we've Christian about scientists One second. find... So no, 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 let me, let me just bank my yeah. point. Yes, I have to show. Yeah. If Christian scientists find proof that literally fish came before this question trees, already. then that contradicts literally the Bible. Literally answered this that question already. That contradicts the Bible. But because all scripture literally is answered this question because already. Because it is for good works, Christian scientists this question. have to suppress the fact that they literally found fish before trees. So they're trying to hide Okay, now you've repeated yourself. Let's go to what Muhammad says. In Bukhari 482, right? It says, this is this is what, this is what, uh, so this is Quran 3638 and Bukhari 40, 4802. So Abadar once said, I was with Muhammad in the mosque at the time of sunset. The prophet said, oh Abadar, do you know where the sun sets? I replied, Allah and his messenger knows best. He said, that's Muhammad. It proceeds until it prostrates under Allah's throne. And that is Allah saying, and the sun runs on its course to its settling place. Right. Where is this throne that the sun goes to? No, no, it and settles. It says, it says, underneath and it prostrates under Allah's throne. Where? Where is this throne? I mean, I mean, it's not in this. It's not in this plane, right? So, right. So, what, what so are you saying? Are you saying, um, as a Christian, do you not take the position that like all of creation prostrates towards God? Right. So, let in me some address, way, shape, or form. Let me address that point. What? What? Think about whether this makes sense interpreted geocentrically or heliocentrically. If it's a geocentric solar system, then the the sun disappears from our vision and prostrates under Allah's throne and then he's commanded to return to a place where it rises again. If it is a heliocentric view of the world, then this verse doesn't make any sense because the question that was being asked to Muhammad was this. Oh, sorry, the question that Muhammad asked was this. Do you know where the sun sets? Well, how would you hear that question? It's about where the sun goes at its setting. In other words, it's going somewhere where we can't see, which is to prostrate at Allah's throne. But the sun never goes and the sun, and anywhere. The, sun, and the, sun, the earth just rotates. And the sun has an orbit. The Quran also says, the Quran, not the Hadith, the Quran says the sun has an orbit. Yes. Right? So the Bible orbiting, also says the sun and the moon and the stars that you have set in their courses. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, no so one, I'm not denying. I've never denied that the Quran says that the sun has an orbit. Yeah. I'm pointing out to you that the Quran and the Hadith say that the orbit is around the earth. Where is the throne? What? Where is the throne? Well, that's a great question. According to Muslims, it's in the highest heaven. You point upwards. But where does the sun ever go there? If we're interpreting it based on its appearance. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm saying every piece of creation prostrates to God in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's right. That's look, look, listen to it again, because Muhammad believes in a geocentric solar no, he system. Doesn't, he doesn't believe. Bukhari three one nine nine. The sun proceeds until it prostrates itself under the throne and seeks permission to rise again, and it is permitted. Then a time will come when it will be about to prostrate itself, but its prostration will not be accepted, and it will ask permission to go on its course, but it will not be permitted. But it will be ordered to return. It says a time will return, come. It says a time will it, come. But it will be ordered yeah. to return from where it has come, and so it will rise in the west. Yeah. That is a geocentric understanding of the solar no, system. No, no, no. Rising from the west, so that still applies. I'm basically talking from a human perspective, right? So it's rising. Oh, we're back to the human perspective. Yeah, you know, but I'm just trying to. Okay, look, look. We're back to the human okay, okay, perspective. Okay, okay. I'll hold my phone. I'll hold it for you. The sun proceeds until it prostrates itself under the throne and seeks permission to rise again, right? And Who's a better interpreter of the Quran? You are no, I agree, I agree. The prophet. Right. So if the prophet is saying that he gets permission to rise in the east, but then on one day it's going it to get prostrate? told to rise in the west, Where does it prostrate? Yeah, but and I'm that saying, is as a Christian, you, you believe all creation in some way, shape, or form that glorifies God. That is telling God. you that Muhammad believed yeah, in a geocentric so universe. That's what he's referring to. Solar system. Because sorry. also, if you link it back to the story of Ibrahim and Islam in the Quran, right? And it talks about... Okay, wait, wait, wait one second. Let me give you another proof. Right, so in Bukhari 3124, 
In the narration, the messenger said the prophet carried out a military expedition and when he reached the town at the time or nearly at the time of the Asra prayer, he said to the son, Oh son, you are under Allah's command and I am under Allah's command. Oh Allah, stop it from setting on us. Yeah, from Wait, one second. Perspective. One second. So what's the what makes sense? Okay. How does it make sense that the prophet would tell the sun not to set, to you're, stop the sun, unless no, Muhammad if, believed if you're going, that the if you're going sun on a military was expedition around the earth. And you're, say, you're praying to God and you're and this, saying, please stop me from that, setting on brother, us. Brother, he's just using you no, to no, stop no, talking no, to no, me. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Did you hear my argument? Yeah. Right. So the, now, and just so you know, it's not just me that says this. Okay. Shamsi says this. Well, Shamsi, Gonzalez. Shamsi says this. Okay, okay, okay. Shamsi says okay, okay. that the sun moves around the earth. Shamsi, go and ask him. Am I allowed to disagree? Go and ask him. Of course you are. It is true. Is that true? Sir? Okay, you want to you want to use all this? Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on. Fair play to Sam. I'm going to give it to him. Let him use yeah, okay, it. Okay. Fair play to Sam. Okay. Sam agreed that Shamsi teaches this. Okay. Let me let me let me make. It. Okay. Look in the book of, book of Ecclesiastes, the sun, chapter one, verse five. Yeah. The sun rises and the sun sets and yep. hurries back to where it rises. Correct. So it's the same thing. Right. So let me address that point. Let me address that point. You have not yet established from any verse of the Bible yeah. that the Bible has to be free from any kind of error. Okay, I can, I can give but you... I have established from the Quran sure, and sure. your own testimony that you've given sure. on camera that the Quran is free from any kind of error. Yeah. Right, so any statement in the Quran that is false... Okay, can, can, I, can I argue your first point there? So, right. you, okay. so give your evidence. Okay, give sure, your sure, evidence sure. that the Bible you, teaches you, that. You use the Bible as a source of history, right? Yes. Yes? Yes, it's yes. a source of history. Sure. Um, when, okay, in the Bible, it says when I believe it was, you can correct me if I'm wrong, when I think it's Joshua who's in a, in a battle yep. and he prays for the sun, the sun stays in the sky for yep. a day, yep. fixed in its position in its orbit, yep. right? And then they win the battle. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. So, was that a historical situation or not? Yes, it was a historical situation. So the sun was frozen in the sky in its orbit, in the middle of its orbit, it just freezes in the sky for a day. Yep. And then a massive military campaign was won. Yes. And let me explain how. Let me sure. square that circle for you. Sure. Because you need to understand about relativity. Sure. If God speeds up the Israelites... Are you going to use no, general seriously. relativity? Okay. If, well, okay. it's, if God speeds up the Israelites, then relative to the orbit of the sun, the sun appears frozen whilst they do their work. Okay. However, so you're, you're, now you're let using, me ask you this question. Wait, hang on, hang on. Now using, let me, let me ask you, yes, I used relativity. Okay. There you go. I can now, use relativity now, in the right, same way. Right. I can Hold use on one second. In the same answer, way. answer this question. I'll, I'll answer it. Because answer this question. Yeah. Here, yeah. it says that Allah. I'm going to use your own here, argument. Say, one second. One argument. second. Okay. Right, and then you've got to find it in Joshua. Sure, Let's sure. look at it in Joshua. Sure. It, the prophet is saying to Allah, "Stop the sun." Why would you stop the sun? Because of relativity. Sun, because one, of second, relativity. one second. One second. You know that. You know that. No. Why because would? Why would? Why would? Why would the prophet say stop the sun? Because if he the knows the sun Allah's was Allah's not Allah's moving relativity. around the earth. He knows. He knows. God is ultimately in control of yep. general relativity, as yes. you agree. Yes. Yes. So, by that same very same argument, the sun can be stopped. Yeah. Okay. So, right. You're, no, you're, no, 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 I'm going to reply. Do you agree or not? You, you, you haven't actually answered the question I asked. Yeah, you, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah. The question that I asked you was, the, the, the prophet is saying, he's saying, look, he's saying, oh, I'm going to only use your argument yes, against exactly. you. Yes, okay. exactly. You, you can yes. try. Oh, son, mm -hmm. you are under the command and I am under the Allah's command. Yeah. Oh, Allah, stop it. What is it? The sun. From setting on us. Yeah. So he's so it's kind of now, similar to the battle, right? Where he's stopping yeah, so it. So what, what makes more sense? What makes more sense that no, Muhammad? What makes more sense that Muhammad understood that the sun was moving around the earth, or that Muhammad was saying that the that we are going to get sped up, that the prophet was going to get no, sped up. No, but the prophet peace be upon him. He understood that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can do whatever he wants, oh, right? Yeah. So he can use general relativity to stop the sun. According to your own argument. Right, right. Hold on. One second. No, 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 wait, can I? Can I? Yeah, go on. Go on. Okay, okay. Go on. You made you made the argument that when there was a massive military campaign in the Bible, yeah. right? God Almighty stopped the sun 
in the middle of the sky for an yep. entire day, the, the sun was frozen in its position in the sky, right? And that was because of general relativity. Yes. Right? The here here you're talking astray. about a hadith, right? Which is talking about um, the Prophet praying to God to stop the sun in the sky. In a specific, and it's also in refer, it was also in reference to a military expedition, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's the exact same scenario. Okay. In the Bible, the sun is being stopped in the middle so of the let, sky. Yeah. To, can I make yeah, yeah, point? Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna summarize, and yeah. then you can go. Okay? Yeah. In the Bible, the sun is stopped in the middle of the sky um, because uh, of a prayer by Joshua, yep. right, during his military expedition, and the sun is frozen in the sky for an entire day yep. whilst they win that military expedition. Yep. Now we fast forward to um, the period of the Prophet, the Prophet and the Islamic army is in a military expedition and the Prophet makes a prayer for the exact same thing, right? Yep. So the, the, the collective case that is being built up... And I can use using, the same argument you use you can't. about general relativity. You can't. There we go. You, you can't because the, the argument that I'm using yeah. is multiple verses of the Quran, yeah. multiple hadith that talk about the idea of the sun moving around the earth. Okay, okay. Multiple. Okay. Can, I, can, Multiple. I, can, I, can I just pick on that? Multiple. Can I just pick on that? So, right. the, 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 so, sun so, freezing, coming, the sun freezing, the sun coming. freezing in the sky during Joshua's military expedition. Joshua, Does that point to Joshua, a geocentric Earth? Jo Joshua, Joshua prays to Allah to stop the sun from moving. That only makes sense if Joshua understands the sun to be moving around the Earth. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's the same right. argument being made here. But Muhammad is the one that's making the argument. So Muhammad believes that the sun moves around the earth. And, yeah, and okay, that's no, how you should is, interpret the Quran. Is, I'm going to finish, finish, finish off it. I'm going to finish off it. I'm going to finish off it. Joshua. Yeah. Okay. Your argument is if any prophet prays to God that the sun should stop in the middle of the sky, that means that that prophet and that God is preaching a geocentric orbit. No, that's not my argument. A geocentric world. Is, that was not that my argument. That is your argument. No, no, that, really that is your argument. That is your argument. Now, you, now, you've talked about the earth and the sun and the earth yeah. both having orbits. Okay, look. Right, one second. Let's you're, use no, no, the Quran. No, 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 you're, you're jumping it. Let's use the Quran. No, 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 I'm going to catch you here. One second, one second, one second. You, in the earlier part of the argument. You're pointing to the prophet. Wait, one second. You said, in an earlier part of the argument, you said, you said, that the sun and the moon both have their orbits, and we agree. The sun and the moon do have orbits. Yeah. But let's listen to how the Quran describes those orbits. Why are you jumping? In Asham, by the point? sun and its brightness, go. by the moon as it follows the sun. Does the moon no, 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 follow the sun? Gonna, I'm not going to address Answer this. Answer that until question. You, I'm not going to address on, this until you can see yeah. the previous point. So the previous point For the sake is, of this argument, I can see that point. Let's yeah, move on. Is, so the last point. No, no. Don't extrapolate. No, no, absolutely not. You're literally trying to misuse my words now. Literally. No, no, no. Literally, Chan, you have said okay, that the Quran it. describes the orbits right, of the sun and the moon. The Quran is described by the sun and its brightness, by the moon as it follows the I'm glad, sun. I'm glad we both agree that God can use general relativity to stop I, 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 You're running from that last question. I'm not running. I need to, I need to go for dinner. All right, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner.